So I don't know. Pika, did you? Are you unmuted? Are you here? Hello? Yep, I'm here. There we go. There, there we go. go. There I go. thought okay. you were. I thought I couldn't hear you again. I was just making sure, bro. I oh, and I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't trolling you earlier, bro. <laughs> no, it's all good. I understand. It's a lot of typical difficulties today, but hopefully we get them fixed tonight, and then it'll be a lot better tomorrow. There we go. I don't know both these teams, so I don't know what to expect. Do you know? Do you know what to expect here? Um, you might know Apple. She, her name. They changed her name a lot, so you might know Apple Alexa two hundred one. She is a girl player on S two esports. Um, on the left side, there. I think their team is from Mexico, so I'm not too sure about their team. But hopefully, we see a good game from both teams. Yeah, definitely have heard of Apple. Um, one of the top players there in NA. Uh, we see a Jawhead ban here from Nasser side. We see an Alice ban here um, from the S2 Esports side. So pretty common draft so far. Nothing too special. No, nothing surprising. Your there you go. Is Another Popol ban. So that that's been two Popol bans. Actually, BTK banned Popol earlier as well. So now Lunasher is banning Popol. What do you think about a Popol ban? Do you think he banning. deserves a ban? Um, it does. It depends if the other team has a good popo player. I think it's a more of a respect ban, in kind of way, than more of like a meta ban. So, mm -hmm. so, uh, so S two esports are West players. They do play a lot of popo popo side, popo and pupa. Your team I see. Is that's there. why. That's why. Okay. So understandable. So it looks like Lunastra, they've been doing their research before going into this tournament. And Paquito gets banned, so that's that's someone that we we um, expected to get a seat in the bans list. Um, Claude gets banned on S2 side, so um, so far it looks like they're banning a lot of marksmen here. Um, I think there's still Uranus, there's still Benedetta, there's still Nesme, uh, really a lot. Mathilda as well, Selena, so many heroes open. Um, but if I'm on S2 side, I would be happy because they're gonna get two OP heroes if they open up, you know, a lot of heroes here. Um, but yeah, what what do you expect the last ban is gonna be? Um, there's still a lot of good heroes up. We could even see, like even a sideline like Benedetta ban or even Elsmerelda. And there you go. There we have it. We have a Natalia ban. Oh man, I, how could I forget? The only hero that I didn't mention got banned. There you go, Natalia <laughs> ban. And there's the Benedetta. Finally, finally a Benedetta. Jeez, um, first getting first pick, so Lunastra might be doing a little bit of their research, but Selena will get picked here with the Mathilda, so two power picks as well. Like I said, a lot of heroes open for S2 Esports. From what it looks like, this Mathilda is going to be um, playing POS 5, which is going to be the tank, and then Selena is going to be playing POS 4, which is going to be support. Um, but to counter that, let's see, uh, maybe Eve? Eve is still open? Uh, what's a good counter to the to Selena Mathilda draft? What do you think, Pika? One of them was Natalia, but it was banned. So um, another pick yeah. could be anywhere from a tank or even Raffaella to dodge the stuns. I see. So they locked in Raffaella right there, but it's not a Raffaella with a Bruno. It's a Raffaella with a Yeast and Shin. So uh, that's something that we don't usually see often that, that's being used in a combo. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I've never seen it um, happen. I've never seen the, that combo myself in a tournament. So we're about to see. Uranus does get picked by S2 Esports here. All three power picks from S2 Esports. So in the first phase of the draft, who do you think won? Just in the first phase. So far, I like S2 Esports picks and bans. They have a Selena, Matilda, and Uranus. They have a really good early game that they could put pressure on. So hopefully we could see them put it to the test as well. Yep, I, I, I do agree with you. I think S2 Esports does have the edge on the draft so far as well. Roger gets banned. So now Lunastra, I think they're trying to focus on banning um, cores right now, junglers. So I think um, Landstall would be a pretty decent ban here. Granger. Uh, maybe even Bruno to be honest. Bruno could be a decent ban here. Someone that could do objectives early game. It would be harder for S2 Esports to secure objectives if they have a late game jungler like Your Ling. Your team is banned. Uh, well, well, Claude got banned. I was, I was going to say Claude. Esmeralda gets banned here though so that their Mathilda and their Uranus doesn't get countered. 
So, super good draft from S2 Esports. All, all, all the bands are reasonable. Uh, what do you think this last band's gonna be, Pico, for, for Lunastra? So, S2, what they still need is a Hyper. We could maybe see a Ling ban or even a Lancelot ban. And also, they might need another side lane. So, who is still up for sides? We still have Lapu, we still have Kali that we might see. Or even Baksha yeah. might be one as well. Oh yeah, Baksha could, could definitely be it as well. Oh, but you know what? You know what would be really good for S2? A Wan Wan. Wan Wan is super, super good against Benedetta. That is one of the heroes that actually could counter Benedetta, by the way. Um, or who else? Or or, or even um, Brody. Uh, Brody's okay, not the best. I think Wan Wan is better against Benedetta. But anything range. Marksman really counters Benedetta. Um, if if uh, in the laning phase at least, laning phase. All right, but let's see what S2 Esports will pick here. Oh, no way. Please don't tell me you're gonna pick Gwyn. Here we go. It looks like they're hovering Yu Zhang. They're kind of changing things up. And um, for Lunastra draft, Kiga, what do you think those last two picks are gonna be for, the, for Lunastra? So I don't know if that's a RAF support or RAF tank, but they could also need another... They need a front line right now, that's for sure. So we could see a Busher that plays against side lane against the Uranus. And there you go, mm -hmm. they, they locked in Yuzong right there. Okay, Yuzong, a lot of sustain. And I forgot about Hayabusa. Hayabusa is actually pretty decent against Benedetta as well, by the way. Um, since even if Benedetta like ulti's out, Hayabusa will follow that Benedetta all the way through with the ulti. And Farsa with the range, so it is a tank. Rafaela, like you said, let you guess. So, very nice prediction there from Pika. It's gonna be a Farsa support. And for this last pick, they still need a... a oh, they need a jungler, of course. And there's the link that you were talking about earlier, which is gonna be a... I mean, I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm kind of worried about S2 Esports early game because their jungler is going to be a late game. So the only way Lunastra could win this is if they really take objectives and be a play aggressive early game. So based on draft, who do you think won, Pika? Um, so far, I think Lunastra has a better draft. Um, they could rotate really well with Raffaella and they could play really aggressive and poke really well with uh, Farsa. Ling was a really good pick because since it could uh, get Farsa and Raffaella uh, really quick. Sorry about that, I had to switch it. Yep, no problem. Um, I do have to agree with you, because um, they had a Hayabusa for a late game. I think it would have been better for S2 Esports to pick a jungler that's more of an early game, like Lancelot. Lancelot was still available, not picked. Or even Granger, Harley, something like that, that's, that's early game oriented. So now that they have a jungler that's a late game hero, and a gold laner that's also a late game hero, it's gonna be really hard for S2 Esports to secure any objectives unless Selena could snowball with the Mathilda. But let's see how they're gonna make this work. All right, I do uh, agree with you. Lunastra has a more balanced draft. All right, they have an early game plus they have a late game. That's the good thing about the draft of Lunastra. But it looks like Mathilda is distracting the season Shin from taking his blue buff, and he actually managed to reset the blue buff. So it's buying a lot of time. So well played. That little small detail right there from Mathilda. Very well played. Uh, Mathilda go even going for the red buff. You can see an orange buff in Mathilda. Let's see if he's gonna be mad. Uh, he if he's gonna manage to invade this. They're low. Look at this. Yusin Shin is. Oh, Rafael is low. That's not Yusin Shin. Um, but here we go. Rafael is gonna try to play aggressive, so that um. Oh, first blood already coming in for the Farsa. So the Mathilda just got way too overextended and Farsa just got the last hit. Very well well played from Lunastra so far. Yusin Shen managed to stay calm, did not panic at all even after the invade. So very well played right there. Yusin Shen already ulted. Wow, Mountain Shocker right away as soon as he got level 4 um, to try and help out the side lanes if anything. <clears throat> but Uranus is definitely winning his lane so far against this Yu Zhong. Um, but that is understandable. Uh, early game, Uranus, I would say, is better, uh, is stronger than Yu Zhang early. So, Yu Zhang, once Yu Zhang gets level 4, it's definitely gonna change. Oh my god, there goes the Selena, that early game that I was talking about. The only way that S2 Esports could secure the objectives here is if, if, if Selena could snowball. A nice passive kill right there on the Mathilda with the Yu Zhang. Uranus needs to run away 
and the Yisen Shen, they're actually going to be able to get the turtle here, but they're not doing it. Why? Why, though? You managed to kill one guy that's about to spawn. Yeah, I, I'm not sure why they didn't do turtle, but all right. It, it's fine. It's fine. I guess they're just playing it super, super safe. And look at the Hayabusa doing a 1v1 against this Benedetta. And Benedetta really abusing this Hayabusa right now. Look at this. Execute. Wow, and there you go, get the sticker out. Very well played from Benedetta. And they finally have the advantage right here for the SCE Sports side. Selena missing a, a point blank stun. He's in front of you, but you still miss. I don't I don't understand. He's been waiting there for centuries. And he still missed the stun. Ah. But alright, okay, another miss stun. Nice dodge though from Raphael. A ni nice heal to get some movement speed. No mana from Uranus. So I don't I don't see them. I don't see SCE Sports. Contesting for this turtle right here, but look at this. Yu Zhong is almost dead. He's one HP. Nice kill from Hayabusa right there. The 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 Ling is gonna get a knock up and double kill from the S2 E Sports side. And oh my God, they're so low on the Lunastra side. And this is managed to get away. Matilda is still going for more, and um, it's a turtle for two kills. Not bad. I would say that's pretty even. Oh, Yisen Shin charging up the second skill. He's gonna miss because of the Matilda. Dash, but the red buff is still up for Yi Sun Shin. He's gonna use his ulti for some vision, and now that he knows where the enemies are at, he is free to do his red buff freely. Um, this Ra Rafaela is doing a pretty decent job peeling this Yi Sun Shin. He's been farming really comfortably right now, um, but so far the gold lead will go to. Uh, they're about the same, to be honest with you. S T Esports is a little bit ahead, even if Lunastra has more kills. And even if they manage to get the turtle, right? So that just means maybe the side lane is doing better than than the enemy side lane. Uh, the enemy. Why why did I say enemy? They're both <laughs> they're both playing in different teams. But all right, Uranus is definitely bullying that Yuzhou on the top lane. I think he's been getting a lot of the golden shield on that top side. Oh, he, actually he hasn't. Look at the golden shield. It's almost full. So I'm not really sure why SK Sports is still ahead. Rafaela going for a stun right there to peel the youth and Shin. Very nice protection right there from the wrath. If I'm Yisun Shen, I would be happy right now. Look that Uranus almost dead, but he's gonna be able to get away with the second kill shield. And there goes the Benedetta using his ulti to clear out the minion wave and rotate as fast as possible. Oh, Hayabusa though, messing up the shadow. I'm not really sure. Oh, he ulted right away without using Shuriken. Jesus, do you not know how to use your passive? And there goes the Yisun Shen getting a kill on Uranus. Usually when you're a Hayabusa, you want to hit your shuriken first so that your ulti hurts even more, especially when Benedetta is alone. But still, he managed to get a Benedetta killed because he got a gank and the turtle is going to be up for SD Sports. We should be either a free turtle or a free tower for SD Sports. Ling did manage to push the bot lane, but they traded a mid lane tower. A mid lane tower for a bot lane tower. I'll take the mid lane tower any day. All right. It, it just gives you more map pressure if you take the mid lane tower. But here's the turtle. It is up. Let's see who's going to be able to get this. Um, Selena definitely needs to put a little bit more vision in the, uh, around the map. Because right now they're lacking vision. Considering that that they're, they're a pretty squishy trap. And uh, Yi Sun Shin is actually going to secure this turtle with a retribution. Hayabusa already ulting. And nice knockoff from Yu Zhong. Very well timed on that Hayabusa. He did not manage to shadow out because of that knockoff. I don't know if it was luck. Or if it was like all planned out, I think he calculated that thing. Seriously, Yi Sun Shen, uh, Yu Zhang, really um, nice knockoff right there. And another objective from Lunastra here. This is the closest game we have so far. It's like a back to you know, both teams are trading each other's objectives, and this is what I like to see. It's not a one-sided game anymore. It's more of a 50-50. You really don't know who's ahead and who's winning. But look at the Yu Zhang going here on the Uranus and Uranus being forced to flicker out so no spell no flicker for 120 seconds Yi Sun Shin here getting the blue buff um the turtle will spawn soon or uh yep the turtle will spawn soon so they might want to get ready for it we see Benedetta and Hayabusa still doing a 1v1 bot lane but he's gonna get ganked Benedetta is in big trouble here he's gonna ulti out he's 1 HP and he's gonna die too Mathilda right there very nice very nice gank from S2 Esports um, but let's see, how can Lunastra trade that kill that they got, uh, that they lost on the bottom side of the map? Hayabusa definitely pushing this bot lane super, super quickly. Um, and uh, this Hayabusa player, he, he his name looks really familiar. 
I'm not really sure if that's the Dragneel I know, but hopefully he is. But he he, he looks really familiar. His his name just sounds familiar to me. Mathilda might is looking overextended here. Jesus, why is he all the way there? There's no blue buff. There's no, there's nothing in that side of the map. Why is he there? I'm really not sure, but Hayabusa is definitely trading a bottom lane tower here. And I think um, Benedetta is going to be here to defend it, though. So he's good to go. Yeah, uh, that was like a uh, what, what, what happened moment, right? Mathilda was just really out of position. There's nothing to do there. Um, I think he was just trying to get vision, maybe. But it's just way, so over, way too overextended. There's no blue buff at all. Um, and he just got stuck there in the blue buff spawn. Turtle has been slain by Lunastra again so um, in terms of turtle kills Lunastra has been doing really good since like I said they do have the better early game and their draft is just better when it uh, when it comes to taking objective Lane gonna go for a knockoff on the Yisun Shin right there and this is not good for the Lunastra side they're being cleaned up by the late game Ling and the Benedetta though look at the Benedetta on the bottom side split pushing can he get this tower Let's see, and I think he might be able to. Yes, he will be able to. So it's a, um, not bad. Three deaths for a tower, I'll take it. Objective over kills for me, all right? Objective over kills for me. Not to be biased, but that's just my, that's just my, um, how do you say this? My rule of thumb. I always want to take objective over kills. Uh, for So S2 Esports, actually the goal lead is not, is really, really close to each other. Again, it's a 50-50 game. Farsa gets a kill on Selena. Not sure how, but it was a solo kill on on on, on Selena right there with a Farsa. Probably just got stunned by by Farsa first kill and then just burst it out with the ulti. Uranus so far though, I'm really trying to find more from Uranus because he's been on this top side for so long, but he hasn't put you know enough pressure to split push to all the way to that second tier tower. But then again, he has been getting ganked constantly. Uh, here we see Yu Zhang. They finally switched lanes, by the way. Benedetta is now on the top side since the second tier tower on the bottom side is already down. So this is just basic logic or common sense for, for Lunastra's side. Small detail that we all should appreciate. Um, knowing that Benedetta already pushed two towers on the bot side, it's time for him to move on to the top side. But never mind, he wants to get a kill on the bot side first. But after that, he's most likely going to go to the top side and split push on the top side to get that second tier tower so um just basic game sense to be honest that we should all appreciate um the blue buff is up selena's not gonna hit a stun i was really hoping that selena could make more plays here to be honest um right now i haven't seen selena really land like some insane stuns um if you if you want to draft selena into your uh into your team you really want to have a selena that's really good at predicting where the enemies are gonna be but look at this Matilda going in Yu Zhang is forced to use the dragon killing spree coming in from Ling and the ulti to back away and retreat this is looking good for S2 Esports because heading to the late game the more the later the game goes the more S2 Esports will get stronger because they have the Hayabusa and they have the Ling and just like that even though Lunastra was doing good objectively in the early stages of the game S2 Esports, they're still at an advantage and they're taking this Lord. First level Lord though, alright? So it's still it's still gonna be easy to clear. Knowing that Lunastra, they have a Farsa who has a Feather Edge Strike. They have a Benedetta ulti who, uh, who wave clears really, really well. So um, yeah, this should be an easy defense for Lunastra if it's a level 1 Lord, which it is. So here we go. Yusin Shin taking the red buff. Let's see how S2 Esports will take advantage of this this level one lord. Um, do they know how to freeze the lane? Do they know how to, um, you know, put all the lanes pushed together? Let's see. Uranus is going to be split pushing this top lane. Barely any mana right there, but I'm pretty sure he does have Enchanted Talisman. So he should have a mana regen uh, from what I can see. Ling though is pushing this mid lane and of course Hayabusa split pushing that bot lane to get those towers. Let's see if they can clear it and pretty easy clear in the mid lane. The Lord is pushing top lane. Let's see. Is the Benedetta ulting so that the Lord gets bursted right away. Nice. Oh, nice stun from uh, Selena so that he can stop the feathered airstrike right there. And like I said, right? Like I said, it should be an easy, easy wave clear 
for Lunastra, knowing that they have a Benedetta Wave Clear and a Farsa Feather Airstrike. They all they only managed to give away one tower with a level one lord. That's pretty good. I'll be proud of that if I'm Lunastra, right? I'll be proud of that. But then again, it's it's still not a good look because Hayabusa is now into the late game and Ling is now into the late game. So they're still at a disadvantage, even though they managed to defend it. Alright, so um, it's still not good for Lunastra's side. It's really favoring S2 Esports right now. Let's see. Will S2 Esports freeze the lane and wait for the next Lord? Most likely that's what they'll do. And it looks like that is what they're doing. As you can see, um, Hayabusa not wait clearing anything at bot lane. Ling is just trying to give some vision, I guess. And Uranus not clearing anything at all. He's just waiting for the minions to die. So they're freezing the lane. Same with at mid, same at mid lane. Look, oh, actually they're clearing it. So I guess they're not freezing the lane so much. Let's see if Link can get any pick up here. Um, Farce is gonna go for an ulti for Vision. Uh, nothing happening so far right now. The blue buff is up, but I think Yi Shin should be able to secure this pretty easily. Um, Hayabusa is just giving some Vision and playing it patiently. If someone overextends and uh, makes a, an error by mispositioning themselves, Hayabusa is ready for that. Uh, Yi Shin is very, very low though. So, um, I think the best thing to do for Lunastra here is to get a pickoff. But the problem is, with Lunastra draft, they don't have a lot of crowd control, alright, to pick people off. The only crowd control they have is um, the Rafaela ulti, which is going to be hard to land. The only way you can land a Rafaela ulti is if you're point blank to the enemy. Um, a Farsa stun, but that's also hard to land, right? Um, so, it's not like... You don't have a setter on your team. That's the that's the problem with their draft. But for S2 Esports, they have a setter on Mathilda ulti and Selena stun. All right. But other than that, um, Link could set for himself honestly, because Link could just go in, ulti in or ulti out, and retreat and dash away. So that's that's the good part about the S2 Esports. Plus, they're stronger in the later stage of the game with the Hayabusa and Link. Same with Uranus, it's gonna be really hard for um, it's gonna be really hard for Lunastra to burst out this Uranus. They don't have any DPS, like DP they don't have enough DPS to kill the Uranus as soon as he gets full build. So we see Uranus right here, anti Karas. Oracle. Uranus actually did not build Enchanted Talisman. He built Winter Truncheon, no enchanted talisman for Uranus. But look at the link, almost full build, no boots, about to get immortality. Also Hayabusa about to get immortality. Um, and what else we see here? Benedetta, Brute Force, Bloodlust. Jason Shin is almost full build as well. He's about to build Demon Hunter, Sword, or Wind of Nature. Farsa does have Necklace of Durance though, so that helps to burst out the Uranus, I guess. Other than that, um, it's still pretty even. It's still, it, it's anyone's game right now. But it's leaning more to S2 Esports side. Let's see what Lunasa will do here to contest this Lord. I think they have to contest it. The dragon is going to be wasted right away. If I'm Lunasha, I would go for the Lord instead. But who's going to retreat? Ling is going to end up securing that Lord. Who's going to win this team fight? Ling is still going in even after they got the Lord. And the shutdown coming in on the Farsa. Selena finally getting a kill there. And um, I think greediness for Uranus. They don't really have to chase here. But he still managed to live with the Winter Truncheon. He literally grew as a player. Jeez, Uranus. Learning from the god himself, Honda Beast, with the Winter Truncheon Uranus. I haven't seen Uranus with Winter Truncheon ever. This, this is my first time seeing Winter Truncheon on Uranus. But it worked. Hey, it worked. Hayabusa though, pushing with this Lord on the bot side of the map. And we see Ling right here. He, he's fed. He hasn't died at all. He's been playing safe. But the good part about that is they know their win condition. Yes, Lunastra was winning early game by getting all the turtles. But S2 Esports, they played it patiently and they, they, you know, they played to their win condition. They knew that once they get late game, they're gonna be able to win this game. Will this be the end for Lunastra? Let's see. They are. They did manage to wave clear, and the base is one HP, and that is gonna be GG well played. Congratulations to S2 Esports for moving on. And Lunastra, thank you for participating in the tournament. GG, well played. Pika, are you there? Yeah, just Hello. give me a sec. Hold on. Oh, my, yeah. battery, my battery showed up. That's what happened. Yeah, your battery low.
Just give us. Give us one second, guys. His battery can't take it. I think he has a. Do you have a Asus R O 